What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, is anyone else seeing the nice little fire icon that's coming up in Hive OS recently? I've been getting that here today actually in Pennsylvania because it is 75 degrees outside and we are in the beginning of March. It is ridiculous. And one of my rigs is already giving me issues. So Radeon RX 570s, we have three of the MSIs in here, one here, one down here and one at the bottom. The one at the top and the one at the bottom notoriously give me issues when things heat up. And actually we're looking good right now. It's at 73. Earlier it was at 78 before I moved it lower down in the rack. But it is toasty out. And I know 75 outside is like, wait, what? That's not that warm, I know. But my entire mining room in here is not set up for spring and summer yet. We're still set up for winter. So if we go ahead and go in here, it's 92 at the waist, but our probes, our probes are reaching 102 right up here. So it's 102 at the ceiling right now. And it's just because this room is not set up for spring and summer yet. I still have, I'm gonna back out here cause it's uh, loud because of the fact that a lot of our, in, we have all of our intakes still coming inward and they haven't been swapped to exhaust yet to get that whole room. Cause in the summertime, this room is gonna exhaust everything. And we're gonna take off this back plate and pull from the house um, with the ambient temperatures. So anyways, here's our problem child right here. Down below, I'm gonna talk a little bit louder. So the MSIs, look at the fans going crazy. They're like fall off right there. And this MSI here, they are terrible when it comes down to cooling these cards. You can actually see I more recently went and replaced the thermal pad here. So huge shout out to these guys at Critical Thermal Pads. Uh, go over and check them out, guys. These things are amazing. I've had really good luck. I replaced a ton of my pads um, so far on my GPUs with these and I've had great luck. They have dropped the temps really well, except for my RX 570s that are in here. Now the other ones aren't too bad. You know, the Sapphire, uh, this is the ASRock and the XFX, they're not bad, but my MSIs are terrible when it comes down to cooling. So here's what our game plan is today to try to address this. So traditionally, this is what you guys see me using on most of my rigs here. It is the Arctic P12. So that's what you usually see out of a lot of these rigs out there, something similar to this. Uh, if we scroll down, you can get some idea on their performance. So they do about 1800 RPMs and they do, this one does about eh, around 56 CFM. A lot of other ones will do around 50. There's some other ones that are a little differently designed that do around 38 CFM. Well, we went ahead and decided to beef things up a little bit to try to address these. So these are the Axial 1238s so I'm gonna show you guys and check this out. 110 CFM at 2600 RPMs. So that's what I have behind me here. Check these guys out. <laughs> Look how big these are. Oh my gosh, heavy too. I mean, this is crazy. So these are very close to almost a, a server case fan. I mean, 110 CFM is pretty dang good uh, on these. They're very thick, uh, thick. These actually have their 38 millimeter when it comes down to their thickness. So these are going to move a ton of air. You can see the fans are actually, the blades are wider and uh, they're smaller, but because of the thickness, they're moving so much more air uh, with these bearings here. So we are gonna install five of these. We got six. We're gonna install five today of these. Now, the only downside of these, so these are from AC Infinity, no big deal, but the downside is, is because of the amount of, of power that these things pull, they actually use this little two-prong. So you actually have to plug it into a traditional outlet but that's okay, we're gonna test this out and see how these do. So let me go ahead and get our Scarlet Witch RX 570 rig powered down and moved out here and we'll go ahead and get it set up. And let's go ahead and install these massive 110 CFM fans. Okay, so here's what we're working with. So here's our RX 570 rig. I actually built this within the last, I don't know, uh, two months, three months or so, because I wanted to get a dedicated rig to Ergo. I wanted to build up my Ergo wallet. So I went ahead and nabbed a bunch of these here. The MSIs I actually got from Anonymous Miner. He sent them to me uh, as a gift. Uh, super, super thanks to him. Uh, but they are huge problem childs. I mean, I'm mining Ergo and these 
literally are melting. Can you imagine if it was like Ravencoin or something like that? Like these wouldn't even work. Um, but I did mine this and set this up more recently within the last three months or so because I wanted to get my Urca wallet kind of uh, continuing to beef up a little bit and grow uh, as we really don't know what will happen after proof of stake with Ethereum. So it's like, okay, let's, let's get back into Ergo a little bit more. So I pieced this together over the last few months with all the GPU prices dropping and it's actually worked out in my favor. I snagged a lot of these 570s for a really, really good deal. So our P12s. So we're going to uninstall these P12s, and they actually go and connect right into our uh, fan splitter right here. The P12s on the sides, we're going to keep in place, but we're going to put them on the outside. A few people commented and recommended that in my previous videos, so we're going to do that. And then these new guys as well, we're going to set them up on the outside of the case too. So let me go ahead and get everything set up and uh, start to tear this guy down, and we'll see how we make out. Okay. Okay, we are ready to do this, ready to turn these on. I'm not even gonna power on the rig or anything. I just wanna make sure the fans turn on and see how much air is actually blowing with just those Axial 1238 110 CFM fans. So I don't have anything plugged in here for the rig, good to go. In the back side, it's a, back side, it's a rat's nest. Look at all these cables. Definitely gonna to have to get these Velcroed and nice and cleaned up and good to go. So because I don't have the cables that have the variable speed or the on and off switch that AC Infinity sells, I just hooked it up to this power strip here. Here. So you guys ready to do this? All right, let's check it out. Ready? Three, two, and one. Woo! Oh man, I can feel that air flying out the front here. Between all the cars right now, I just feel tons of air. I don't know if you guys, you guys could probably hear it. Let's see. Very cool. Okay, so let me get this powered down. I'm gonna get it cleaned up. We're gonna put it in our mining room and we are gonna see, can we beat our 73 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius? Let's go. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and see how we're doing here. Our rig, Scarlet Witch, is in place. As I said before, we call it Scarlet Witch because it's been such a pain in the butt uh, and uh, problem child. But we got all four fans on this side blowing air into the rig, three fans on the left side blowing air into the rig, and our 110 AC Infinity Axial 1238s cranking that air. I mean, I can put my hand right here and feel that air blowing across. Uh, the surge protector we put right there in the back. And now if you guys aren't familiar, we do have a cold air coming in right there, intake. We have another intake on that side. So it's blowing all the air, you know, the cold air is coming in at the floor level. So it's blowing that cold air across the cars and then that, that hot air is sitting in the middle of the room. Well, the nice thing is, is we have an exhaust up top there. There's another exhaust right there. We have another exhaust over here and another exhaust right there. So that puts us in a really good spot the way that the room's designed. Let's go ahead and walk over to our computer. Let's refresh. Check it out. Our problem child is now down to 65. Heck yeah. That makes me feel so much better about the upcoming summer. I mean, look at this. The first one was always the biggest issue, but take a look at the other ones. They look phenomenal. This one, I really got to find out uh, what I can do with this. I did put a new thermal paste on it, new thermal pads on it. So maybe I'll take a look at, at it a little bit closer. Maybe I'll try replacing it. I'm not really sure, but still, I mean, 65 is definitely better where we were with 73, but we do definitely need to try to prepare better for the upcoming summer. Um, at this point, guys, I think I'm gonna try to get my hands on a few more of these. Uh, as I said before, AC Infinity, Axial 1238. If you guys are gonna try to nab any of these, uh, you can actually go on their website. They are a little bit pricier, and you can use the actual discount code, the Hobbyist Miner. I'll put a link down below directly to this product as well as to the discount code. That'll give you a nice huge discount off of AC Infinity's website. I think I'm going to try to get more of these for my open air um, rigs. I've been really loving the closed server cases. I have the two Octo Miners currently right now, and those, man, they have like, what are those, like 200 plus CFM? I'd have to look. Those things are rocking it. I think it's like 240 CFM. 
but uh, these 110 ones is really cool. They're like, they're like an open air, it's like a mini server case fan, you could call it, I guess, at 110 CFM, so very sweet. Anyways, guys, that is it for today. I appreciate you guys checking out this quick video at ways that we're trying to improve our airflow getting ready for summer and spring. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.